on occasion, <laughs> on occasion, your dog will be initially afraid of the light. And so um, this is a, this is Maggie. She's a rescue and she is relatively new to us. She's been with us for about three months. And um, so we have attempted to put lights on her and she's not so keen on it. And so we thought that we would share with you strategies on what to do if your dog is afraid of the light initially. Because what happens is people go, oh, they don't want it or they're afraid of it. So it's not a good thing. And that's not really true. What happens is, especially in situations where it's rescue or the, the, it's not a confident dog, um, they can't make that brain body connection that the light is actually a good thing for them. So we do it in little stages. So the first stage is, and this works with any of our devices. So it doesn't matter which device you have of ours, whether it's a half wrap or a pad system or the IllumiVet, um, the strategy is gonna be the same. So I'm gonna use the multi-light because that happens to be my favorite one. So literally the first thing you're gonna do is just show the dog the light. Like don't have it turned on. Get, let them get curious about it. Let them get curious about it. Let them smell it. Let them lick it if they want to bite on it. With our devices, especially the standard multi-light and the Pro Gen 2, they're indestructible, so let them bite away. And that would be step number one. Step number two is going to be Turn the light on and we're going to default to red to start with because that's the primary color that we're using and we just want to see if the dog is curious about it at all and sometimes this is going to be your session. Um, she's reacting really well to it. Um, some dogs are just afraid of the color and so you might just have to turn the light on and just let them play friendly game with it. Like what that means is just let them go, let them see it, let them know that it's not going to hurt them. Um, and so that would be step number two. Step number three is going to be take your device with it off and you're just going to pet your dog with it. So you just want to make sure that they are comfortable with the, it touching them. And again, with rescues and some dogs that are not confident, this could be a big deal. Um, you know, we don't know what her background is really. And so there have been some things that have popped up that she's not confident with. Um, and sometimes, and you can see right here, she's looking at me, she's looking at the light, she's not quite sure. She's like, what is that touching me? So I'm just giving her the time and the space to explore it. You can see she's licking on it. Okay. She's changed her focus. She just sighed out. She just put her head down. So that's a green light for me to say, okay, let's see if we can go to the next step. Next step, step number four, is going to be put your color on. And then I want you to just put it right on the point between their shoulder blade. This is one of the best points you can use. To, um, we call them the opening points. So if you have our book, uh, Light Therapy for Dogs, you can find this on the opening point chart. We chose these points for very specific reasons. Um, it opens up the energy all along the spine. And as you can see, she has really accepted this and she, I got a lick and chew out of her already, which is a sign that her brain and her body are working together. And she's recognizing that. And she's also pretty darn comfortable. So these are the steps that you are going to take um, when you illuminate a dog that is afraid of the light. 
Now, this could all take a couple days, what, whatever it takes. It's a couple days. Be patient. It's not that the light doesn't work and it's not because the light isn't good for them or they don't want it. It's they don't understand it. Their body doesn't know how to process it. And you just got to give them the time and the space to be comfortable. And once they become comfortable with it, then they'll let you illuminate them all over the place and it will become a non-issue. As you can tell with dogs, it's a little different than the larger animals is that they need to be in an environment that is very comfortable for them. In this case, he seems pretty comfortable. He's on his back, laying backwards. And they have to be not have a lot of stimulus environment that's going around them. So having all his doggy friends here, they're all jumping on your lap or a bunch of people going by or a lot of commotion going on or squirrels going by, it was not the ideal time to start your red lighting.